a less happy video because I have to talk about those products that I don't think are worth buying or that products I just regret buying. So it is not totally yay today, but I really hope this video is going to be helpful for you guys so you don't waste your money because I do kind of feel like that I've wasted my money with these products if I must be honest. So I just basically want to make sure that you don't waste your money because nobody wants to waste their money. Uh, money. But um, let me just say before getting into this video, I don't feel like this is a hate thing on any of the brands because actually most of these brands I really really like so the products they just didn't really work for me and um, therefore they're in this video so let me share them with you. The first product can't really come as a surprise to you guys because I have mentioned that I didn't like it. It is the Maybelline the Nudes palette and I would say just looking at it right here I like it, I really like the colors, I like the thought of it, I like that it's you know really really inexpensive so everyone can get it um, and I like that there are both mattes and shimmers in this um, palette and it's very very wearable for an everyday eye but <laughs> that is basically all that I have to say like good things about it because once I tried the colors nah. I did a first impression like a drugstore first impression where I tried out this one and it just didn't work at all I mean the colors were not pigmented at all and they were very difficult to blend as well so just overall I just didn't like it. I have been trying to work with these shades actually after the video and I still don't like it. I mean the matte shades in this one they're okay but nothing to like go crazy about so I just I just don't think this palette is worth the money. If you want a good drugstore nude palette go for the L'Oreal one. I actually really like that one compared to this one it is much better but this is just no, nah. I'm sorry. Normally, I really like Maybelline, and I like the thought of it. As I said, I really like the thought and everything, but the actual product is just not good and not worth the money. And while I'm talking about those products that can't come as a surprise to you, it sticks like hell. Really, I hate the scent of this bronzer. It is the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder in the color 02 Golden. And I must say, I did buy it on a whim and I bought it when it was on an offer because I was like, well, it looks nice. Getting the sun, bronze, something. It smells so horrible. I don't... Why is it that scented? It seriously smells so bad. Oh my god. And this just happened. This is a crappy product. I'm so sorry Maybelline, I don't know what's happened, but just look, it just fell out. This is just not good, it smells horrible, like seriously horrible. I hate the smell and when I applied it to my face, I could just smell my face the entire day and it was just like so gross to me. So this is just a no-no, a no-go for me, I don't like it, I don't like the colour either, it's very orange on my skin. Honestly, just a no-go for me. The only good thing about it is that I like the pattern in it that looks like a star. Other than that, or maybe a sun, it's probably a sun, but other than that, no. No. Next up is something really disappointing and I had my hopes so, so, so high for these products. These are the Rimmel Good to Glow Highlighters. These are like creamy liquid highlighters and they just don't work. I bought all three shades because I was like, oh, that is so exciting, that must be like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors kind of things, but they're not. The thing about them is that I tried to apply them in different ways. I've tried to apply them as highlighters just in the cheekbones and honestly when you apply them to the cheeks, they dissolve your makeup, so it looks like they've got like weird stuff going on. So they can't be like applied on top of your makeup. I tried to use them as a primer, didn't work either. My face just looked weird and my foundation wouldn't set like correctly on my skin. I have no idea how to make these work. I've tried different ways and it just it just doesn't work. If you want some liquid highlighters, go for Becca or something like that because that is so worth the money. I've tried them now and they are on point. So these, no, no, something else, yes, yes. The next thing is a nail polish and let me just say, 
I do like the brand, it is from Etsy. This one is called Tying the Knotty. It was from their bridal collection and it looks so beautiful. It just looking at it right here, it is just, I love it. I think it's so gorgeous. I think it's such a pretty pink color. But once it gets on the nails, by the way, it's not the one that I'm wearing today, but when it gets on the nails, it is streaky. It, it takes a while to like apply because it's that streaky and it didn't last on me at all. I mean, after one day or just a half day, actually, it chipped on me and I was just like, and I was also wearing like a base coat and a top coat. No. It is just, I like the color, but the texture, the formula, there's just something wrong with it. So I wouldn't recommend this one. And as I said, it was only a limited edition color. So thank God, because it is just not good. Next up is so freaking disappointing. And I kind of knew already when I bought it that it would be like a yay nay product. And it's definitely a nay for me. It is the Smashbox O Plump Intuitive Lip Plumper with Goji Berry C Complex. I wanted to try some lip plumper things because I wanted to see what the hype was about and then I found this one, I think it was in the Copenhagen airport, I think, and I was just like, well, why not? And I tried it and honestly, it burned my lips and it didn't do anything else than that. It really burned and it felt so, so uncomfortable on my lips, so I was just like, oh, get it off, get it off, get it off. Um, yeah, and it didn't really make my lips go bigger. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's such a gimmicky product and it didn't work so I won't recommend it. Next product is something that I bought while I had my rash on my skin and I bought it because I thought that sounds like such a great idea. It is the MAC Blemish Control Gel and this is supposed to kind of like form a gelish texture above the pimple or spot or whatever so your makeup won't like clog up the pimple or spot or whatever. I hope you get what I mean. And it didn't really work at all. I just didn't like it on my skin and it actually really irritated my skin and yeah, I just didn't find any good things with it at all. I just didn't feel like that it worked on my skin and it didn't make my like pimples go away or anything like that. So yeah, blemish control. Not so much. The next product is something that I've only tried out a couple of times and I've just been disappointed every single time because I think it's very, very dry in texture and I don't really feel like that it does what it's supposed to do. It is from Christian Dior and it is the Backstage Eye Prime and it is just a basic flesh toned um, eyelid primer. However, it is so freaking dry. So it is kind of difficult to apply and once it's on, I just feel like that it kind of like crumbles if you get what I mean because it's that dry. So it doesn't really make my makeup last much longer or make my eye makeup like glide on smoothly. I just didn't like it. It looks pretty. As you know, don't judge the book by its cover. Honestly, I don't think it's worth the money. If you want a creamy eye base, go for Max Paint Parts or Bobbi Brown's um, cream shadows. They are much better if you ask me. This is just not worth the money and it's very expensive. It's Dior. So yeah, not worth the money. Lastly, but for sure not least, I think I've saved like the worst product for last. I hate this product, seriously. And it's also the first product that I tried from this brand, so it's not the best kind of like way to meet this um, brand. It is from Aussie and it is the Miracle Dry Shampoo. No. <laughs> this actually felt like that it made my hair even greasier than before and it just didn't do anything good to my hair. It made it look wet and greasy and it made it clumpy, if you get what I mean. Like really, a really bad texture to the hair because normally I do like dry shampoos because they give a bit more volume. This just made my hair look greasy and feel like ugh. And also the scent, I hated the scent. So this is just not good. There's so many other great dry shampoos out there. Baptiste, Cure Stars. Uh, learn back of stuff saying there's just so many great dry shampoos out there this is not one of them actually I think we're going to throw it out and there's like probably well over half bottle left I just I can't I can't and with all of that negativity let's finish on a positive and say that these are only like a few products I love so many products these are just not worth the money if you ask me and they've just disappointed me as well so if you ask me, there are way better products out there and um, yeah, these were just not worth the money or the hype. And 
find if you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support and all of your lovely comments and so on. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Bye!